Historically, the Academic Alternatives and Instructional Support Division at College of DuPage has had a very unique role. We offer comprehensive programming, including a variety of academic programs that are delivered in different formats. We offer college-wide academic support services, as well as instructional support for both full-time and part-time faculty. We work uh, very closely with the academic divisions, as well as student affairs, information technology, and many other departments of, at the college. And I believe that it is because of those across the college relationships and connections that we're able to better serve our students as well as the community. There are four centers for independent learning throughout our district. The main center is in Glen Ellen. There's one in Bloomingdale, Westmont, and Naperville. Those centers provide individualized instruction for students who are independent learners, are self-directed, are interested in moving through the course at their own pace. Students choose independent study courses for a variety of different reasons. Um, in my experience, um, students have picked this format because it's what works best for their schedules. They may already be taking some classroom classes and that combined with uh, a working schedules does not permit them to fit in another classroom class and that may be one reason. I've also had a lot, number of students who have young children for whom it's much more complicated for them to arrange daycare um, and come to classroom uh, courses that meet maybe two or more times a week and so independent study courses work well for them. When a student wants to enroll in an online course at College of DuPage, we refer them to our website which lists all of the information that a student needs to know to enroll, to get an understanding of the courses that are offered, what technology support is required, uh, and also what services we offer to the students. We encourage students to complete the orientation. We encourage them to complete a self-assessment which really will indicate to them whether or not they have the skills to be successful online. And we encourage them to be in contact with their instructor from the moment they begin the class, to ask questions, to interact with other students in the class. Our goal is to provide as much support as we can to the faculty to ensure that the courses that are developed are rigorous, that they are well-developed courses, that they are courses that students can easily navigate. And as we have gone through a number of years of offering online courses, we have gotten better and better at what we do. And the demand continues to grow and it continues to challenge us to, to continue to provide the best support that we can and continue to make the courses um, as strong as we can make them so the students have the best experience and are able to accomplish their goals online. One of our roles is to provide accessible student support services. Students are able to take advantage of free tutoring services through the reading and writing area, math, speech areas, as well as peer tutoring. Faculty are available on a walk-in basis or on a scheduled basis for students, so there's access to instructors. There's also online tutoring available for, for students in selected courses. In addition, students take advantage of our testing services. Most students who come to the College of DuPage have to go to testing for some reason. And oftentimes it's the placement test, but there are other tests too that students take within the testing facilities. And we are able to provide those services both on and off campus for the most part, which provides greater access to not only students on the Glen Ellen campus, but students in our neighborhoods. AEIS supports both full-time and part-time faculty in two ways. The Part-Time Faculty Center provides a place for part-time faculty together with their colleagues to meet with their students, to have access to computers, to receive their mail, and a place where they can receive general support. The Office of Instructional Development provides instructional design assistance to both full-time and part-time faculty. The Office of Instructional Development works very closely with web and information technology uh, they come together as a team and they are available to sit down with faculty to talk about ways in which the faculty member may want to enhance his or her class, uh, whether they want to integrate new methodologies or technology in their class, and they're able to walk faculty through that. They're able to help do the research relative to best practices in their discipline so that faculty feel comfortable with the way in which their course is being revamped and they're able to deliver it in a way that can be supported.
probably in the future we will see greater crossover in uh, delivery modes. We would see accelerated courses like uh, our certificates, like the Adult Fast Track, come online. We would see hybrid courses that will be delivered in uh, various formats for uh, the health sciences. Things that are already here, of course, are, are the wireless technologies, the handheld technologies to help students prepare and stay prepared, practice languages, listen to Shakespeare. Just on the horizon, we will be seeing more and more simulations, gaming, we'll be seeing uh, certainly the social networking will be, could be, and probably already is in some classes, an essential part of classroom learning. There's emerging learning theory that's coming forward now that shows that students in the future and today are really ready for that kind of learning and, and actually demanding that kind of learning.